Now we've learned how to hit our short putts and long putts with more accuracy and distance control. We're now moving just off the green and in many cases we can't putt the ball because the grass is longer which may lead to an inconsistent roll of the ball. The chipping zone is an area just off the putting surface where the grass is not cut as low as the putting green. This area is usually around about 1 to 10 metres from the edge of the putting surface. The chipping technique is used to loft the ball from the surface onto the putting green and then have it rolling towards the hole. All chip shots have a carry and roll component so your job here is to chip your shot in the right place on the green and get it rolling so that it finishes close enough to the hole to make it easy to achieve two putts or even one putt. OK, so how do we decide where your landing area is and what club to use? Well, a good rule of thumb is to pick a spot just on the green surface between 1 and 2 metres where the area is relatively smooth and to choose a club with less loft that would roll the ball more easily. For example, if you had to carry your ball 2 metres onto the green and roll it 18 metres, it would be best to choose a club around 7 or 8 iron, maybe 9 iron. That would be an ideal choice of club as these clubs tend to hit the ball lower and are much easier to use and control. With chipping, hold the club softly with your hands in a more neutral and weak position. Move your hands about halfway down the rubber handle, leaving 2 to 4 centimetres at the end of the grip. This will help give you more control. With chipping, maintain the angle of your rear wrist throughout the back and forward movement of your swing. This gives you a pendulum-like swing keeping wrist motion to an absolute minimum. Depending on the length of your shot, swing the club head no higher than your knee back and forward with minimal lower body movement. For example, swing ankle to ankle height or knee to knee height.